Do you have the consent to be searched? Hello, this is attorney Darion Holloway from Shane Smith Law. As you can see in this video, two police officers pulled up to the side of the road and stopped this young man as he was walking on the sidewalk. I'm just trying to go to Planet Fitness, man. Okay. I'm just trying to go to Planet Fitness. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You're a little ways away from Planet Fitness. I know. What's your name? My name is Jason. Jason? Yeah. Jason, do you mind just putting that? Because I don't know what's in your hand right now. Look, it's my t-shirt and my hat. You probably see me take it off right now. Okay. Jason, are you on parole or probation? No, or nothing. No, so have you been arrested or anything like that? I've been arrested before, but it's years ago. It has nothing to do with my, my life now. As you can see, the officer first asked him his name, and he responds in a very respectful way. She also asked him to put everything down he had in his hands, which he does. She then goes on to ask about prior criminal history, whether he's on probation or parole, and whether he's ever been arrested before. While he doesn't have to answer these questions, he does so in a respectful way and points out that this has nothing to do with where he is today. As you can see, the officer goes on to question about where he's from and he again answers really respectfully and gives her the answer she's looking for. He tells her that he's an actor and she gives a sarcastic response in which he completely ignores. Have you been in anything I would have seen? I don't know. I don't know. I've auditioned for many things that I know you've seen, but I, I sign NDAs and I'm not allowed to talk about these things. Not talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything legal on you or anything nope. like that? No. It's okay if we make sure? There's no reason to search me. But is it okay if we make sure? There's no reason to search me. So you're saying no? I don't know. Is it against the law to say no? Because I'd rather it's you don't. It's not against the law. No, I'm saying no then. There's okay. no... There's no. And this is typically how it goes. As you can see, the officers asked a few questions that are pretty irrelevant to why they are there. And at the end, they usually ask a question, as she does here, asking to search the young man. He respectfully says no and exercises his right. In fact, he asked the officer, is it against the law to say no? In which he replies correctly that it is not. So what we have here essentially is the officer asking to stop and frisk this young man. In the United States of America, this is only legal if they have reasonable suspicion that, that he has committed a crime or is getting ready to commit a crime. The reason why they are not able to search him right now is essentially they're looking for an opportunity to stop and frisk this young man. They want to search him, pat him down, to see if he has any weapons or anything illegal. The Supreme Court stated that they must have reasonable suspicion that he has committed a crime, is currently committing a crime, or is about to commit a crime. This ruling came out of a landmark Supreme Court case, Terry v. Ohio. In this situation, this young man was simply walking to Planet Fitness, which is not a crime. Additionally, Police officers are only allowed to stop and frisk you if they believe that you are armed and dangerous. And as we can see from this video, this, all this gentleman had was a hat and a t-shirt. Thus, he exercised his rights correctly. If you like learning about your rights and how to exercise them, like this video, subscribe for more, make sure you hit the bell for notifications. If you need help with this or anything else, feel free to give us a call at 980-999-9999. And as always, in pain, call Shane. Shane.